and pet eggs and Dusty and Jackie who sell pet snacks. Go speak to each of the experts and once your knowledge of pet raising is complete, I'll tell you how to win arena tickets by racing in the pet derby. And you can speak with my associate, Mr. Barker. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, a customer. Come right in. We have all manner of snacks for your pet. Whatever you need. After your pet completes a training game, it will be hungry. You can reward your pet with a tasty snack. The type of snack you feed it will increase its abilities in some fashion. The exact ability and how much it improves depend on the type of snack and how much a pet likes it. Different pets like different snacks, so you should try a variety of snacks and see what your pet likes best. And you won't find a better selection of snacks anywhere in the spiral. Guaranteed. What are you waiting for? Take a seat in the hatching machine and we'll get started. Where's the other pet? Oh, my mistake. You're not a pet. Serves me right for not paying attention. That would have been a disaster. This is the hatchery, where pets can hatch new pet eggs. This remarkable process. Simply stand on the seizure near the hatcher and choose two adult pets you'd like to use. Then press the hatch button. If two wizards want to collaborate, both must stand on the seizure. Each can contribute a single adult pet. When you both press the ready buttons, voila! A new egg! If two wizards work together, they'll hatch two eggs. The egg will take after one of the original pets. Which pet and which trait? Who can say? Once the egg is hatched, your new pet is just a baby and needs to be trained and fed. You can train your pet with the mini games offered in the pet pavilion. As you train your pet, it grows older and will develop new talents and powers. Pet talents help you in magical duels, while derby powers are used in the pet derby. Some rare pets are extremely powerful, with astonishing abilities. I really must get back to my work, so unless you're ready to hatch a pet... Welcome to our shop. This is the finest assemblage of exotic pet eggs you'll find. We have an inventory that ranges all across the spiral. Indeed. You'll not find a better selection of pet eggs anywhere in Wizard City. The spiral, that is. Anywhere in the spiral. Really? I had no idea. that your tour of the grounds and its services was as entertaining as it was educational. As I mentioned previously, it is my honor to offer a wide variety of fine and unique items in trade for arena tickets. You'll earn arena tickets if your pet does well in the pet derby, or you'll receive gold as a consolation prize. You can use arena tickets to buy things here or from my friend Diego over on Unicorn Way. Mr. Barker will no doubt wish to regale you with information about the wonderful world of the pet derby, so I won't detain you any further. Well there, my prodigious prestidigitator. What did you think of our pet pavilion? I trust that my admirable associates bent your ear enough. Now that you've seen what wonders the pet pavilion offers, I encourage you to take advantage of the ample assortment of delightful diversions to train your pets. Your energy governs how often you may train your pet. 
it returns over time. But if you need more energy and cannot abide, you may purchase an energy elixir from the crown shop. If you don't train your pet, it won't grow up. So it's very important to pay attention to your pet and train it as much as you can. If you've an interest in participating in the pet derby, I am just the fella you need to speak to. Just a moment, though. Before I set your precious pet upon the perplexing paths of our pet derby, I must ask that you avail yourself of the information provided in the two rule books nearby. One of the books is generous with guidance about practice matches, while the other volume summarizes those that are ranked. Go and peruse them at your leisure, and stroll on back to me when you're sufficiently schooled. In the ranked pet derby, your pet will race against other pets with prizes such as arena tickets or gold. The last place pet receives gold, while the other pets receive arena tickets. Your pet's wins and losses are measured on your character sheet, and your pet will gain ranking in the pet derby based on its performance. In the pet derby, you can race your pet in practice matches for fun, with nothing to gain or to lose. The practice pet derby is a good way to learn the course and obstacles for each different track, and see which track your pet is best suited for. Let me explain the basics of the pet derby so that I might enhance your experience. There's a lot to go over, so I recommend you make yourself comfortable and pay attention. You can race your pet in the pet derby by going to one of the two book pedestals in the pet pavilion. One is for practice matches, the other is for ranked derby races. Practice derby races are classed by easy, medium, hard, and epic. You can create a new match, or you can quick join a match that has already been created. You will see the cross swords icon in the upper right corner of your screen when your pet is in the queue for a pet derby race. When the race is ready, you will see a screen letting you go to the arena. The goal of the pet derby is to come in first, steering your pet past obstacles and using your pet's derby powers against other pets. You can control your pet with the arrow or the WASD keys. It will go forward on the derby track automatically. Side arrows will make it switch lanes, and the back arrow slows it. The up arrow cheers your pet, making it go faster. The space bar helps your pet bypass obstacles, jumping or ducking each hurdle. You must time it just right. Hitting an obstacle slows your pet. Your pet's position in the race is displayed in the upper left corner of the screen. Under the position number is your pet's time for the race and what lap of the race you are on. On the upper right corner of the screen, the racetrack shows flags indicating where all the pets are on the derby track. Your pet's flag is largest and its color matches the position number. Your pet has a resource called morale displayed on the bar at the top center of the screen. Cheering your pet costs morale. Your pet gains morale when it successfully bypasses obstacles. Cheering costs different amounts of morale based on the terrain your pet is on. The cost is based on the terrain type and your pet's attributes. The attribute used has its icon next to the morale bar. Your pet's derby powers are the round icons in the top center of the screen, just below the morale bar. You can click these with your mouse, or you can use the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 keys to activate them. Derby powers can boost your pet's performance, hinder other pets, put obstacles on the track, force pets to change lanes or other tricks. You can mouse over a power's icon to see what it does. Effects on your pet appear as icons on either side of your pet. Helpful effects are on the left, bad effects are on the right. A countdown timer shows how long each effect remains on your pet. Try to steer your pet through the floating stars. They will give your pet speed bonuses and give your pet temporary immunity from other pet powers. Avoid bombs and banana peels. 
Bombs will slow your pet down, and banana peels will slow and cause your pet to change lanes. And now that you've done your homework, it's time to play. I'll wager you can barely contain your enthusiasm, so step right up, ready your pet, and let's go! I'm gonna have to step out. Oh shoot, it's still rolling. Intrigued by the fantastic yes. world of pets, young wizard? Capital! But there's more to pets than snacks and games. They have special abilities. A good pet has eyes and ears far more sensitive than yours or mine. They can sense things we can't. An ideal trick for any scavenger hunt. I buried metal rings in the commons and the shopping district. Want to see if your pet can find them? Good hunting! This quest requires you to have a pet and guide it to each goal. If you have a pet, equip it from the pet tab in your spell book. With a pet equipped, you can control it directly. Click the pet button on the bottom left of the screen. Then press the pet mode button. Playing as your pet will make certain items and objectives available that weren't before. But likewise, pets can't talk to most people or engage in wizard duels. You can play as your pet until its happiness runs out. Replenish happiness by feeding the pet snacks. Now use your pet to find those metal rings. Why am I...